Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Inks and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be checking out Vacon, Vacon, whatever, whatever, whatever we call it, I call it Vacon, Vac, Vac, Vacon 20, whatever that is. And uh, as usual we're going to be making three videos and there's one thing I definitely did know that, that, that this particular dump, the Vacon 20, it is part of the Dampers family, which I did not know. Which is quite interesting. I did have a great look at look at the drive itself. Never used the drive before at all. So I was going to look at uh, going through the manual, checking out what it's all about and blah blah. And the one thing it really strike out was it was the price tag for it. I was like, Phew, what's so bloody expensive about it? So I start start going through it. Boy, your oh boy, this drive is uh, very much designed around fans and temperatures and pumps and things like that. It's definitely has got a lot of functionality into it, and the manual seems to be fairly fairly easy to understand and things like that so yeah i'm kind of keen to stuck in and uh, really check it uh, check check this drives out what it's all about so as usual we're going to be doing a commissioning video and also going to be doing a uh a local run that's going to be the first video and then the third second video we're going to be a two three wire control and they're going to jump onto a a, um, a multi-frequency setup and also check out if he's got up and down MLP speed control. That will be the third video. So, all the manuals and every single related video I think would help you out in any possible way will be in the description below. So don't forget it to check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, so uh, all wired in, so as usual let's go through our uh, first cabling. So uh, we have a line neutral coming in here, right in here on the bottom. This is where our power, power would go to and then we have a motor coming out as it going straight, to, okay, cables coming out, going straight to uh, the contact and from contact that goes to the motor. That's pretty much all there is. Nothing else on the bottom, also you got the earth down there as well. Uh, next up, as you can see, is the terminals in here, and there's like a top shelf and a bottom shelf, and sort of a, a, a marked out. And in here, it sort of gives you a small explanation about the switches, what is in here. This jumper in here is between source and the sink. If you want to be in the sink, then do uh, remove the jumper. If you want to be in source, do keep some per, uh, jumper in, and that's exactly what we're going to be working on. And it sort of gives you as well the wiring diagram in the manual. Do check it out. How would that work out? So uh, it's got two analog inputs. First analog uh, input one, which is this one's in here, one, two, and a three. That is going to be for your potentiometer, standard potentiometer, but your analog two can be a set uh, to be a volt or milliamps, as you can see down here. That'll be your switch number three. The switch number two is going to be for your volts and milliamps output for analog. And switch number one in here, that's going to be for your encoder on and off. And obviously for your RS45, uh, you need to say that that switch down there is going to be for that. So as you can see down there, there's like a number on the one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you look at the manual's diagram, it's a bit, bit all over the place. So, so, but they do put a, put like a two columns in there, and it sort of shows you where things are. It's got six digital inputs. Uh, it's got digital one, two, three, and then it's got uh, four, five, and six right here. And right in here, you can have a analog output and plus a digital. Uh, output, I would say, yeah, digital uh, signal output. Yeah, here we go. That's that's quite nice to have as well. But again, this drive is quite packed with stuff. By the way, your potentiometer should be uh, can be between one and ten kilo ohms. So as you can see down there, 23, 22, 23, 24, and 25, and uh, that, um, and another, and then. Uh, in 26 they are pretty much your relay outputs so these are pretty much uh, basically follow the numbers a block there and a block in here and one in there and also you have a and b for your rs485 connection so that pretty much will cover a um, all the terminal blocks obviously we're going to be uh, wiring a lot of stuff into that so i will be talking through as we progress and there's a, like i'm not sure i mentioned already there's a little window in there we can have a, a quick setup if you want to we're going to go through that in a minute this block in here is going to be where you connect your additional cars that comes with this drive for all additional temperature control temperature temperature inputs and things like that so uh, so yeah, that covers up all the uh, terminals and things like that. So next up, let's have a look at the actual menu and turn the drive on. Here we are. As you power up the drive, you will generally be in the screen. So you got the uh, sideways, up and down buttons in here. Okay, for pretty much accepting things, start and stop to start stop the drive. This local remote in here, you can go between local and remote. 
if you are so we are uh, gonna, uh, back uh, later on we're going to be playing with that in uh, upcoming videos and then you get the back and reset buttons in here by clicking a back button it takes you straight into the menu and from there on you have a reference menu monitoring menu parameter menu and also have systems menu if you want to enter it just click enter and then you are pretty much in and then you just start going through all these numbers we're going to go through all these uh, numbers in there and uh, everything else that means in there with uh, later on so uh there's just backspace if you don't want to do anything so that's pretty much that's all it is regarding when it comes it's down to menu so next up what we're going to do in here so if you want to leave you go back if you want to leave just go back to m and click ok and then click that one then you'll be able to monitor your uh, frequency so uh next up let's do the full factory reset so for factory reset we need to go to system parameters so uh, let's go into systems parameters, uh, click it out, and then we need to go, by the way, uh, using these buttons, it skips the first number up and down, it's sort of a, uh, sort of a, what's it called, um, a, uh, a jumps, jumps, uh, jump, uh, oh, goes into submenus. As you can see in here, there's some sub, sub menus in here. So if you jump back, you can bump, uh, so you can use the ladder if you want. So we go to parameter A 4.2, in the far parameter 4.2, select one and click OK. And it literally defaults everything back to factory reset. And as it starts up, it will ask you a couple of things it wants to know. Basically, this would be your initial uh, uh, commissioning of the drive. So there it wants to know what is your RPM. My RPM is going to be uh 1,000, uh, 1,395 so it's just gonna go down to that and we select that one so it quickly it basically just starts asking you a uh the the, the necessary parameters that it needs so 1.4 is going to be your current my one is uh 0 0.8 can we yes we can so there we go so uh and then we go back to that. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. So that's that. And another one is going to ask you is 17.1. This is where you can more or less can select your application type. If you know your application type, there's a couple of options you have. One of them is a zero. The, the standard one is a default is zero, which is a basic. Then it's a pump fan or a high torque. Choose whatever you want. We're going to leave that as zero because basic for me. And that is it. And it's pretty much that's all the information that he really needs to uh, make sure that he has for a uh, drive to work and uh, do what it does so uh, having done that obviously we can do, be doing a little bit more but that ladies and gentlemen is factory reset right once you've done a uh, factory reset you are still more or less in a quick setup menu because parameter 17.2 is is by default will be an one we're going to change that in a minute if you want to see all the parameters you need to change that to zero so first let's go to really through which which is our a uh, quick setup menu which is quite interesting quite interesting one this basically gives you the main things that you will need to get yourself going and I'm quickly going to check uh, through some uh, parameters. So we're going to go and so as you can see, now it just jumping from doesn't go all in order. It just jumps, it, it jumps around everywhere. So it's because it just selected all the parameters you would uh, need. So if you do that, do that, we should go back to the. No, we don't. So uh, let's let's quickly have a. Oop. Yep. Back to a uh, 2.1. The, the ones that really, I'm not going to go through all them, it's just the ones I want to check because I want to do the auto learn as well. So uh, just quickly make sure make sure that everything is in the proper place. So uh, 1.5, let's check, make sure my cost sign. I already edited my cost sign, so I took that all off camera so you guys don't have to bore yourself watching me doing that. So cost sign, it's because I need it for auto tune, I need to make sure the cost sign is correct. So uh, okay in that one. So uh, the next one I'm going to be look at, uh, looking at is 2.1. Uh, it's basically where I select my keypad, uh, where I want to uh, control to be happening, because we're going to be doing a home uh, runs for basically local runs. We're going to be selecting different uh, controls that uh, control start stop. So it's going to be from a keypad. And uh, uh, the next next one is going to be a uh, where you can select. Oop, you can select what's that's the stop function. I change that. I will change that to. I'll leave that to ghost at the moment for now, and uh, then it's gonna be 2.3, which was stop function, stop function. There's both of them down there. Again, check it out. 
minimum frequency, maximum frequency, I'm not going to check that one. 3.3 is where you select your frequency. Control keypad is stands at number two, so we already changed that one. So uh, from there on 3.4, let me just flip the page. Uh, the other things, so we're not going to 3.4, 3.5, 3.5, 6, 7, those are your preset frequencies, all your uh, four speeds you can put in there. 4.2 is acceleration, we're going to change that one to one. My typical testing acceleration, the acceleration. So, uh, and change that one as well. And this one we're going to do this way. I'm not wasting our times with this. There we go. And that's pretty much it. So that's 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 pretty much you. You are pretty much ready to go. So uh, let me uh, leave this, and you really are ready to go. So. Uh, if you go back in in a in, uh, frequency and this is where you can say uh, your frequency and change your frequency once you run it but before we run it we're going to do quick uh quick auto learn actually we are not going to do any auto learn because by the looks of my drive it doesn't support that well at least that's what it looks like because 1.19 is something different in my drive so uh so yeah and uh, one more last thing before we get started is as already we entered everything that we needed to enter to run it uh if you want to access all the parameters please do change 17.2 change that one into zero and that will allow you to have access to all the parameters like i have in here let's just uh uh, go back a bit and then go to parameters as you can see down here I will as this is all the parameters button of them in there We will be playing with some of them in an upcoming video. So that's pretty much the drive is very much ready to go So there's a couple of ways we, uh, we, we can we can monitor the frequency and we can edit the frequency So at the moment all the controls are from start as you can see I can start The drive already select the frequency and as you can see we go back to 1.1 And that's our frequency. Stop and, start. and if you want to change the frequency, just leave, go into the, oh man, uh, do that, go into uh, R, and in there, press OK. Once uh, that starts flashing, you can change frequency to wherever you wish. So, and let's change that to 50 Hz. Why not? And there we go. And your motor is running. And the same thing, if you want to do it again, go across. Change them to 20. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Vacon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Vacon 20 drive. So uh, yeah, that will do for this video. So that's pretty much local run. So in the next video, we're going to look at a remote run using uh, our, our remote control stations for two, three wire controls. So do definitely tune in for that. On that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, please smash that like, subscribe if you like and want to support us, what we're doing here. So, uh, so yeah, and uh, do click that notifications button if you want to be notified where the videos get uploaded. And that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.